Hi, first graders. Welcome back. Today we're on session seven, which is readers think about what kind of word would fit. Okay, so we're going to give this a try. I have two sentences right here, and I'm going to read the sentences without saying the blanks and what could fit first, and then we're going to go through it again and see what fits the best. So it was a hot and sunny day today, and so I decided to go to the blank. I packed all the things I would need sunscreen, swimsuit, and my blank. Okay, so they're talking about sunscreen, a swimsuit, it's hot and sunny. So I'm gonna think of some things that maybe we could do and put up here that would match that. So it was a hot and sunny day. And so I decided to go to the pool. That would work, right? Because you need sunscreen and a swimsuit to go to the pool. So I packed all the things I would need sunscreen, swimsuit, and my, hmm, what else do I bring to the pool? Towel, you could do that. Or you can say, I packed all the things I would need, sunscreen, swimsuit, and my flip-flops. Those would work too, right? So I was able to fill in the blanks by reading the sentences and thinking about, hmm, how, what word would fit here the best? So today, I want to teach you that another tool readers use to get the job done. They listen carefully to think what word might come next. What would sound right? We can solve unknown words by stopping and thinking about what kind of word would sound right. Today, we're going to try it with our book that we've been reading, Ivy and Zelda. So I'm going to reread a page that we read yesterday. Zelda spread her blanket behind the butterfly bush. Here's a good spot, she said. We can see the house, but no one in the house can see us. The fox's sister peeked through the bush at their parents. Mom and dad will really miss us, Ivy said. Yes, said Zelda. They'll be sorry they made us cucumber sandwiches. I'm a little hungry, said Ivy. We can't give in, said Zelda, or we'll be eating cucumber sandwiches for the rest of our lives. Ivy filled her teapot from the garden hose and peeked in the window. They don't seem to be missing us, she reported. It may take a while, said Zelda. Lucky you brought your, hmm, what word would go here? Starts with the C. So it can't be lucky you brought your teapot, because remember, she filled her teapot, so that doesn't make sense because it starts with a C. Hmm. Lucky you brought your cups. Or maybe, let's look at the picture, what's going on. Lucky you brought your cards. Let's reread it. Ivy filled her teapot from the garden hose and peeked in the window. They don't seem to be missing us, she reported. It may take a while, said Zelda. Lucky you brought your cards. Okay, so I looked at the picture and I was like, what starts with a C that would make sense here? Okay, we're going to keep reading on. Zelda and Ivy played 14 hands of go fish. Still, their parents did not come looking for them. I wish we had cookies, said Ivy. Be tough, said Zelda. We may have to sleep here today. May have to sleep here today, maybe. May have to sleep here tonight. I think that makes more sense. Oh, it's tonight. The Fox's sisters put on their PJs and waited for dark. To pass the time, they decorated the edge of the blanket with pussy window willow puffs. They figured out their names backwards. Adles and Evie. They wrote a two chapter book about a worm named Philip. When they finished, they could hear their parents blank and laughing in the kitchen. Hmm, maybe when they finished, they could hear their parents teasing and laughing in the kitchen or talking and laughing. When they finished, they could hear their parents talking and laughing in the kitchen. We should have left a note, said Ivy. So do you see how I was able to do that by just looking at the pictures and realizing what's going on? Now it's your turn to read your book by yourself and think what kind of word would fit. All right, off you go.